In this video, we are going to be going over a couple problems involving verifying trigonometric identities. For these type of problems, you will be given an equation with a bunch of trig functions, and you have to prove or verify that one side of the equation is equal to the other. Now this process is going to rely heavily on the fundamental trig identities that I have in the chart on the right of the screen, so make sure you have them memorized. Let's jump right into the first problem. We need to prove that cosine x over 1 minus sine x minus cosine x over 1 plus sine x is equal to 2 tangent x. So like I mentioned in the introduction, the strategy you're going to want to employ in solving these problems is pick one side of the equation and use the fundamental trig identities in this chart to convert it to the other, thus showing that the two sides are equal. For this problem, let's focus in on the left-hand side. Let's start simplifying this left-hand side by taking the common denominator of these two fractions which would be 1 minus sine x times 1 plus sine x. The numerator then would be cosine x times 1 plus sine x minus cosine x times 1 minus sine x. Now let's expand the numerator and if we do so we get cosine x plus cosine x times sine x and then minus cosine x times 1 so just minus cosine x and then minus cosine x times minus sine x which is cosine x sine x and if we expand the denominator out we get 1 plus sine x minus sine x minus sine squared x. Now we can cancel cosine x and minus cosine x in the numerator and sine x and minus sine x in the denominator and that leaves us with cosine x sine x plus cosine x sine x or 2 cosine x sine x in the numerator and then in the denominator we're left with 1 minus sine squared x. And if we take a look at this particular sort of identity, notice that if we subtract sine squared theta from both sides, we get that cosine squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared theta, which means that 1 minus sine squared x equals cosine squared x. So we can rewrite this fraction as 2 cosine x sine x over cosine squared x. Now we can cancel the cosine in the numerator with one of the cosines in the denominator and we're left with 2 sine x over cosine x which of course is equal to 2 tangent x because sine x over cosine x is equal to tangent and 2 tangent x is the right hand side of our equation. And so we proved that the left hand side equals the right hand side and so we verified this trick identity. Now let's move on to the next problem. So here's the second problem. We need to show that cosine squared x is equal to cosecant x times cosine x over tangent x plus cotangent x. Now when you're determining what side to start with, whether you start with the left hand side and show that's equal to the right hand side like we did in the last problem or vice versa, try to start with the more complicated side because that will give you more to work with. So for this problem it's clear that the right hand side is more complicated so let's start with that. Let's start simplifying the right side of this expression by converting everything to a sine or a cosine. Cosecant x is 1 over sine x, and so in the numerator we have 1 over sine x times cosine x, and then in the denominator we have tangent x, which is sine x over cosine x, plus cotangent x, which is cosine x over sine x. So the numerator is cosine x over sine x. And for the denominator, let's find the common denominator of these two fractions. So that will be cosine x times sine x. And then in the numerator, we'll have sine x times sine x, which is sine squared x, plus cosine x times cosine x, which is cosine squared x. We can keep the numerator the same since we want everything in terms of cosine x and sine x. And in the denominator, we have sine squared x plus cosine squared x, 
which based on this identity is 1. And we divide that by cosine x times sine x. Now we can multiply the denominator by its reciprocal to simplify this further. So that would be times cosine x sine x over 1. And if we do that to the denominator, we have to do the same thing to the numerator to make sure the fraction's unchanged. And when we do this, this cosine x sine x and this cosine x sine x cancel. And then in the numerator, this sine x and this sine x cancel. So what we're left with is cosine x times cosine x, which is cosine squared x, which is the left-hand side of our equation. And so we verified this trig identity. Okay, so here's the third problem. We need to show that secant x plus tangent x is equal to cosine x over 1 minus sine x. For this problem, let's start with the right-hand side and show that it's equal to the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, we have cosine x over 1 minus sine x. And the trick here is going to be to multiply the numerator and denominator of this function by the conjugate of the denominator. Now, the denominator is 1 minus sine x, so its conjugate is going to be 1 plus sine x. So we're going to multiply the numerator and denominator of the fraction by 1 plus sine x. Now, if we multiply these two fractions together, in the numerator, you get cosine x times 1 plus sine x. And in the denominator, you get 1 plus sine x minus sine x minus sine squared x. We can keep the numerator as is. And in the denominator, we can cancel out sine x and negative sine x. And so we're left with 1 minus sine squared x. Now if you remember from the first problem we did, 1 minus sine squared x is cosine squared x. And that's from this identity. If you subtract sine squared theta from both sides, you get cosine squared theta equals 1 minus sine squared theta. So what we have here is cosine x times 1 plus sine x over cosine squared x. The cosine in the numerator and one of the cosines in the denominator cancel, and we have 1 plus sine x over cosine x. And we can break this up into two separate fractions. The first is 1 over cosine x, and the second is sine x over cosine x. Now from looking at this table, 1 over cosine x is secant x, and sine over cosine x we know is tangent x, and so we have secant x plus tangent x, which is the left-hand side of our equation. And so in general, when you have problems like this, where one side of the equation is a fraction with 1 minus or plus sine x or cosine x in the numerator or denominator, you're going to want to use this trick, where you multiply by the conjugate of that term. Okay, so here's the fourth problem. We have to show that sine squared x plus 4 sine x plus 3 all over cosine squared x is equal to 3 plus sine x over 1 minus sine x. Okay, so in terms of determining which side we want to start with, the left side definitely looks a little bit more complicated, so let's start with that. In terms of the numerator of the left-hand side, how do we go about simplifying that? Well, the trick here is to realize that the numerator is actually a quadratic that we can factor. Let's say that u is equal to sine x. Then the numerator of the left-hand side is u squared plus 4u plus 3, which can be factored to u plus 3 times u plus 1. And remember, we set u to be equal to sine x, and so the numerator of the left-hand side can be factored to sine x plus 3 times sine x plus 1. Everything in the numerator is in terms of sine x, so let's try to get the denominator in terms of sine x as well. Once again, let's take a look at this identity. Notice that if we subtract sine squared x from both sides, we get that cosine squared x is equal to 1 minus sine squared x. 
So in the denominator here, we have 1 minus sine squared x. We can keep the numerator as is in its factored form. And let's try to factor the denominator as well and see if any terms cancel. 1 minus sine squared x is just the difference of two squares. So it can be factored into 1 plus sine x times 1 minus sine x. Notice that the sine x plus 1 and 1 plus sine x cancel, and so we're left with sine x plus 3 over 1 minus sine x, which is the right-hand side of our equation. And so that's how you verify this particular true identity. And if this video helped you out, please be sure to leave a like, and thanks for watching.